Today I'm gonna to go through what's selling for me in my eBay business, as well as telling you what I'm struggling with the most in my eBay business. But before we get into that, my name is Xavier. I'm an ex-con that does reselling full-time. So I'm gonna be telling stories on my experiences in prison, as well as doing videos like this one, where I'm telling you what I'm selling, going to thrift stores and going to estate sales, stuff like that to maybe help you out in your business to show you what's selling for me and maybe you could find the same stuff so you could sell it. But without further ado, let's get to what is selling for me. Uh, first, let's go with the PS1. I love selling old school systems, old school games, PS2, PS1. You know that stuff sells good. People are gonna buy it and I like to sell it. This one sold for $69.99 plus $15 shipping, I paid $10 at an actual Goodwill. <laughs> I found this at a Goodwill for $10, $9.99. Next item is the vintage Exxon Castillo's Grand Alcazar building blocks uh, loose. I didn't have the box, uh, but this sold for $89.99 plus $15 shipping good sale i'm not sure if there was any listed but mine didn't have the box i believe there was uh some listed with the box mine didn't yeah so pretty quick maybe in like two hours but it was a good sale so let's go to the next one we got dell earnhardt budweiser model kit a uh, plastic set i paid five dollars at a five dollars for this at a estate sale it took a while to sell but I'm happy to see it move. I believe I had 30% off on this one. Next up is a Tommy Bahama silk embroidered uh, button up shirt. It had like the grape clusters on there. I bought this at a thrift store for seven bucks, sold for $34.99 plus shipping. Next, we got a good we got a good one. It's not high seller, but <laughs> I was kind of surprised to see this. The um vintage warner brothers uh road runner fitted sheet for a twin bed i seen this i was like man that looks cool <laughs> yeah <laughs> so i grabbed it up i think matter of fact the I, I found this at a thrift store and the lady was like you could just have it she did so it was zero dollars and i sold it for twenty dollars and thirty cents plus shipping all right next we got the posture pump I find these all the time. <laughs> uh, people sleep, uh, sleep on these. If I could get them for about seven to eight bucks, I will usually grab it because this one sold for $34.99 plus shipping. All right, we, we, uh, we got a good sell on this one. I found this at a Goodwill. Um, it kind of threw me off guard. It's a Brookstone wireless five day clock. So this is a forecaster clock. Um, I seen it on the shelf. I picked it up. I usually don't really buy these. I picked these, picked it up. And the only thing that made me look it up is it said made in USA. This one sold for $89.99 plus shipping. Good sell and good find. It's a big bolo. All right, we got a, a cool little item here. I usually don't sell like machine parts and uh, automotive parts, but this I found at a auction. I got this off an of auction. I paid uh, $15 for a bunch of these little machine parts. I think it was like six. This one was one of the lowest ones, the lowest uh, price ones and it sold for $70. It is free shipping and it's kind of heavy, but I think I could get it into a regional A box, which would make it uh, maybe at max 15 bucks, but this sold for 70 bucks. Um, and it's a four inch precision Tilton rotary, rotary table. I don't know what it's used for, but I sold it. <laughs> All right, so we have uh, some Adidas that sold for me. Uh, Adidas Samoa, classic leather casual sneakers, green and white. Uh, I got these for, I believe, because Goodwill 
around my area is pricey as heck on shoes. I think I got this for $19.99 and they went on to sell for $48.50 plus shipping. The next item we've sold is a G.I. Joe figure. I actually found this at a local thrift store. Uh, they had a bunch of figures and I bought a bunch of figures for only $6. This one will pay for the whole lot. Um, I'm not going to make too much money off of that 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 whole haul it was like 10 figures and most of them were not they didn't they weren't worth that much so i'm bundling up a bunch of them so they're not they're not that much but i'll, I'll at least make 20 40 bucks you know all right we got some ice skates that sold uh, i found these at a goodwill they are burer nsx ice hockey skates size five and a half and these sold for $37.99. I bought these for seven. All right. And then we have a Jeff Gordon, 2002 Jeff Gordon shirt, t-shirt that sold. This sold for $20 plus shipping. Um, it's considered vintage, vintage now. It's 2002. It's 20 years. We're in 2022, baby. All right. So for the next three items, they're actually my favorite from the bunch we have these nice lebron james 16s i believe and they sold for 170 dollars plus shipping no 170 dollars no shipping but these are clean <laughs> these are clean right white and gold all right next item that sold is actually right behind me and it's this guardians of a galaxy steel book it's the actual it's actually the uk version but this sold for 59.50 no shipping so 59 ship 50 shipped that is a pretty decent bolo i got this for four dollars at a garage sale and it's the uk version so if you find the american version sealed it's probably worth more money all right and the and the highlight of the of these of this weekend actually is this shirt right here when i found this shirt i was amazed it's the snoop dog dog father t-shirt this thing is clean, bro. I, I was like, I found this at a Goodwill. They had had it for $6. This actually sold for $120 plus shipping. No, $110. I'm sorry. $110 for the Snoop Doggy Dog, the Dog Father shirt. 2005, not vintage, but clean. So that's the recent sales for me. And for the... Uh, other portion of this video I want to talk about biggest struggle I'm having in this business and it's space man <laughs> because I buy a lot of stuff right and I I use half of the uh, two car garage for to store all this stuff I also use a portion of my closet and man it, it's starting to to come in the house, <laughs> really. So the stuff in the closet is fine because I try to store the stuff that needs to be climate controlled in the closet. Uh, so that's not a bunch of stuff that I need to store there. But now there's, uh, I just got two drum sets, uh, Guitar Hero or yeah, drum, drum sets, Guitar Hero drum sets. And I actually put them in my daughter's room. It's starting to get everywhere. I want to get a shed in the back. That's the plan because I, I was thinking about getting storage, but then you're like paying and you could get a, uh, you could just get a shed. I could get a shed in the backyard and I have my own storage. And if I have to pay it off, but I want to just pay it all together. But if I have to take a loan out and pay it off, that's what I want to do. I'm not there yet, um, but this year I am definitely going to get a shed. But that is my biggest struggle. Yeah, you might have thought it was uh, something else, but my biggest struggle right now is the space. I don't have the space to store. I have like almost a thousand items in my store right now and I'm running out of space. 
I'm actually going to, I'm thinking about doing a purge, which I got from Osborne, Osborne of Thrift. He said he does a purge once a year, which I'm going to do. I started last year doing this reselling and I hope you come, you join me in all the stuff that this, this is a fun business, man. I'm, I'm enjoying myself. It's kind of stressful at times, but I'm going to keep on putting videos out so y'all can see what's going on in my business. And if you like prison stories, you in the right place because I'm going to do both. Hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and until next time, I'm out.